Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now the news in detail. The head of the company whose employees dug the last stretch of the Uttarakhand tunnel that led to the rescue of 41 trapped workers on Tuesday has underscored the diversity of faith in his team, saying the job couldn't have been done alone. Speaking to the Indian Express, Vakil Hassan, who owns Delhi-based Rockwell Enterprises, said, In our team, there are both Hindus and Muslims, and people from both religions worked hard to save these 41 lives. None of them could have been done this alone, and this message I want to give to everyone. We should all live in harmony and not spread the poison of head. We all want to give our 100% for the country. Please convey my message to everyone. Twelve people from his company, six from Delhi and six from Uttar Pradesh, Bulanshahar, were called into action when the drilling machine gave away. Between Monday and Tuesday, they dug roughly 12 meters in cramped pipes to reach the trapment. The rescuers Hassan Munna Qureshi, Nasim Malik, Monu Kumar, Saurabh Jatin Kumar, Ankur Nasir Khan, Devendra Firoz Qureshi, Rashid Ansari and Ishad Ansari are aged between 20 and 45. These men were adept at maneuvering through narrow pipes and excavating soil, a skill integral to their work with the Delhi Jal Board. Typically, walkers in this line of walks are called rat hole miners. On Wednesday evening, their bags were packed and they were ready to leave Silk Yara. We walk for the Delhi Jal Board and our job is to enterprise like mice and dig the soil. Two of the walkers would go inside the pipe so that one could do the digging and the second could fill that the bucket for the others to remove. Once some space is created, the pipe is pushed further, Hassan said. Talking about the difference in their job and the rescue operation, he said that in Silk Yara, the pressure to save lives only motivated them further. Lives were at stake here, more than 140 crore people along with the whole world were counting on us. It created pressure but also gave us the motivation that we must do this and there is no scope for failure or getting lazy or tired. It took us around 27 hours to dig through around 12 to 15 meters. In normal circumstances with the same kind of soil and working condition, we would normally take 10 to 15 days but here we were just not working but saving lives, he said. That's the end of the story. If you like the content of our video, please do hit the subscribe button, share it with your families and friends and do not forget to post a suggestion in the comment section below. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye-bye.